Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. This video will not be about boat building, but about trying to set up the Dust Deputy. This is a dust collection system that uh, I've had for some time, and it's relatively inexpensive, but um, I've had a hard time trying to get the ports to connect to various size hoses. So I will show some relatively simple ways to make some adaptations in that regard. Hi everybody, Chuck here with Jenkins Boatworks. I am still trying to get my shop set up um, and I've had this uh, little dust deputy uh, for a long time, made by Oneida, and uh, I've struggled with it for a long time trying to get the, uh, the hoses attached. They're very odd sizes, and um, so anyway, I just built this cart and uh, got my shop back down at the bottom, and then I couldn't get the, the hose from the shop back now. This is a Craftsman, and uh, this diameter. These hoses seem to have different diameters. It's very troubling and confusing. Okay, so this one's one and a quarter, but like the opening on the, on the top of the dust deputy is like almost two inches. So what I ended up doing is I, I took an extension off of my, my floor attachment, just a, one of these hoses, and I actually cut off the end of it. You can see that here. And um, the result of that is that that will fit down in there. And then this fits in like that. And then the whole thing will go in there. And it's pretty, it's very tight, super tight. So anyway, so I finally figured out how to get my, my vacuum attached to the top. Now I always had this piece, this little elbow, that came off of here, and I believe it's a two inch elbow. Let's measure that. See, that's like one and three quarters going in, so that's just an odd size. This port going in here is one and three quarters. And then this is indeed, well, it's like almost two and a quarter. Just such strange sizes, strange, strange sizes. So, but this flares as it comes out, so, so this fits on there and, and it goes on there. And, and I actually, I think this came with it. It either came with it or it came with this tube that I believe came with my DeWalt table saw. Now this one has always fit into, into this attachment here and this end fits perfectly into the, the table saw. So, and that's, that's a huge dust producer, sawdust producer, so I definitely want to keep this hose and be able to switch out from having like just a vacuum attachment to having this. And, and that's the problem with dust collection is so many of your ports on your tools are different. They're just different sizes. Um, here's, here's Bernie the belt sander, and uh, it, this port's obviously way smaller than, than the hose that goes in the, in the table saw. So figuring out how to um, not have a super expensive dust collection system, but something that's portable in a cart um, to where I can just go from tool to tool, because I'm only gonna use one tool at a time. So um, until such a time as I decide to afford a much larger dust collection system, um, I'm hoping that I can get enough attachments on this to just make it work, but the sizes are also different. This is the floor attachment that came with the Craftsman um, shop vac. Uh, that Craftsman shop vac is like a 10 gallon. And this is, a, this is a bigger tube. I went and bought some replacements since I saw the end off of one of them. And so then I got these ones. Well, these ones must be like for shop vac brand. But look, it doesn't, <laughs> they don't fit. So anyway, on this part, I've got a, a two, I can just bend that down to make you see it, two inch by two inch hose adapter with these uh, aviation clamps on it. And then on this part, now I had this turned around and I'm going to have it turned around when I mount it because I want 
Uh, I'm going to use some straps and, and put in there to hold that. But anyway, I, I've got this on here. And so what I did is I had another hose off of an old shop vac, and the vacuum itself is pretty well shot. But I was able to take the, the hose part that just would go in the old shop vac. See, and this hose is a different size than this hose. They're not the same. <laughs> nothing, it seems like nothing's standardized. Um, so anyway, I took this one and I just wrapped a bunch of duct tape around it to build up the build up the end, and then it fits into this into this two inch port. It's still a little bit loose, but once I clamp the clamp the screw down, then it's very tight. So anyway, just some thoughts on how to connect um, connect to this dust deputy, and I really like this thing. It works great. It'll keep me from having all my all my dust in the in the vacuum and having to be buying filters all the time. Um, this will collect almost probably 95% of the of the dust that I that I collect. So I bought one sheet of half inch plywood and uh, got some ideas from April Wilkerson on YouTube. She'd made a nice dust collection cart, and uh, I think she used three quarter inch. Um, I had some some one by stuff laying around, so I was able to brace mine up and get away with using um, the half inch. And then I've got casters on the bottom, so it spins around. I can move it around the shop wherever I want. And uh, so the only other thing that I'm troubled with is uh, still trying to figure out all the hose connections for this dude. And then I'm going to get some uh, just like strapping and uh, push this thing back in the corner and then just run some strap with like a little buckle in there that'll hold that thing in place. Because if you pull on this when you're vacuuming or whatever, it wants to tip over. It's just not very sturdy. Um, I really do like this Craftsman shop back. I've used it a lot and uh, built this to where that fits in under there. It was about 21 inches square, so I've got a, a box down in there that's about 21 inches that it just fits in. You can see where I've got that one by down in the base of that that just pretty much holds that all that plywood and the bottom and everything all together. So anyway, hopefully I can stay ahead of my mess. If you've watched any of my videos down in the garage, I, it just has turned into a disaster area. I've got sawdust everywhere, and it's just a constant problem to try to keep it clean but anyway up here in the new shop I'm trying to make an effort to stay a little cleaner all right that's it for today thanks for watching we'll see you next time